Hello and what's up guys, Softony here, welcome to another video tutorial and in this one we're going to create this uh, film effect and dusty textures. So film dust and those scratches are often used to recreate the aesthetics of old movies or vintage footage and with this After Effects tutorial you can achieve this effect very easily. Whether you're a filmmaker, video editor or simply someone who wants to add a unique visual element to their project this tutorial is perfect for you so without any further ado let's get started and create this really cool and awesome effect all right we're here in after effects and first like always let's create a new composition hit ctrl plus n or command plus n to create a new comp or this little icon here for the composition name you can type whatever you want but i will type final uh, 1920 by 1080 30 frames per second duration 10 seconds long hit ok and now let's create our solid layer go right click then go new find here solid i will rename it to background hit ok then go here in the facts and preset and if you can't find it go to window and just hit here to find it effects and preset uh, type here uh, fill effect drag and drop onto our first layer and uh, let's change our color to dark dark uh, uh, gray one like this and then hit ok now let's create another solid layer right click find here new a new solid layer i will rename it to fractal noise 01 also full hd hit ok go again here in the facts and preset type fractal noise drag and drop onto our first layer and now it's time to make a few adjustments for the contrast instead of 100 type uh, 400 and also find another effects here and bass effect drag and drop also here on fractal noise and you can play around with the relief and contrast for the relief i will type maybe three contrast maybe leave it to 100 or 110 like so and also we will animate our direction, hold ALT here on this uh, little stopwatch and then type here time asterisk uh, 300 or whatever number you want. Okay, now when we hit zero on our finals, we have this kind of movement. And also really important step is to uh, change our blending mode from normal to overlay or soft light you can play around if you can't uh, find those blending modes just hit here on toggle switches and modes find it and uh, now we will change it to overlay and as you can see our background is looking uh, really really cool now let's create another fractal noise layer uh, we can duplicate this one uh, hit here go edit and then duplicate or control plus d on your keyboard I will rename this just to see the difference instead of fractal noise 01 change it to fractal noise 02 okay hit again here delete this emboss effect and now we will make a few changes here in our fractal noise for the fractal type instead of basic change here to turbulent smooth for the night noise type uh, finds here spline also for the contrast uh, instead of 400 type 100 for the brightness maybe around minus 50 also open up these transform options for the scale type here maybe around 35 or 30 like this uh, you can leave this uh, to overlay but better option is to find here another blending mode uh, add or lighten like this and now we have this kind of movement also now it's time to uh, animate our fractal noise to open up this uh, evolution options find here random seed uh, hit alt on this little stopwatch and type here time asterisk uh, 400 like this now when we hit zero we have this fast movement in our finals and it's time to add our next effect find here posterize time drag and drop onto our fractal noise 02 and we will lower the uh, movement of our uh, scratches uh, lower down frame rate maybe to around seven or eight depends on you and now when we hit zero we have this cool movement also uh, hit again here on our fractal noise uh, you can play around with the relief 
just like this, maybe to around 1, 1.2. Also hit background, change a color, maybe we can uh, do just darker gray uh, option like this. This is looking really awesome. And now when we hit zero, we have something like this. Also hit again here on fractal noise O2, open up this fractal noise, where you can scale down our scratches, play around with the brightness and contrast to get the results that you want. When you're satisfied, just hit OK to see the preview. This is looking really cool to me. And it's time to add our first adjustment layer, right click, find here adjustments layer. I will just rename it to noise, find here in the facts and preset noise HLS, drag and drop onto our adjustment layer and for the hue, lightness and saturation type 4. Now this is looking really, really cool. Okay, what we can do next? to pre-compose all of those uh, layers, hit Ctrl plus A or select them all, then right click, uh, go here pre-compose. I will type here just one for the composition name, of course you can type whatever you want here, hit OK. And just to show you, uh, I will import uh, my media 01 here. And our uh, next step is really important to change this uh, blending mode from normal, maybe to overlay, you can play around or to add better option. I'll just hit S to scale down this media. And now when we hit zero, we have this really, really cool old film scratches effect. Of course, you can play around even more to find here, maybe lighten, find a suitable option for you. Okay, what you can do also is to hit T here to lower down or up opacity of our dust film scratches. All right, guys, uh, hope you learned something new in this tutorial. If you found this video helpful, please hit that like button. Also, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please consider to subscribe. Also take a look on my channel for even more great tutorials. Uh, one important note, uh, all the links are in description. So please take a moment to explore my portfolio pages where you can find a vast number of projects created in After Effects, Premiere Pro, Cinema 4D, and so many more. I would also appreciate your feedback and suggestions for future tutorials down in the comment section. Thank you once again for watching this video and for your continuous support. With your help, we're growing stronger and we will be better in the future. So until next time, stay creative and bye bye.